Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with my tutorials bringing us from electromagnetism to optics. This is video number 21 or video 2 in the subsection on Fresnel equations. In particular I'm going to discuss the reflection and transmission coefficients for normal incidence. So just to recap on what we saw in video number 19. In video number 19 I proved the reflection transmission and uh, the, excuse me, the reflection and transmission coefficients at normal incidence. So what we, what we saw was as follows. First of all, if you go from a medium A to a medium B, the speed of your wave is going to slow down and it's go, going to slow down in proportion to the index of refraction. So we call that the change in the index of refraction is the ratio of the speeds. And what we showed in the last video was the following. We said that the uh, incident electric field the magnitude of the incident electric field in terms of the indices of refraction is n1 minus n2 over their sum multiplied by the incident electric field and the transmitted electric field is twice n1 over their over n1 plus n2 and we multiply again by the incident electric field now, the thing here is, we can't measure the, the intensity of the electric field. Our eyes and our detecting equipment is not able to measure the uh, amplitude of the electric field. What we can measure is the irradiance, or the intensity. Now, it's a formula for this I did not prove in my particular videos, but I'm just going to quote it here without proof that the irradiance is equal to one half epsilon times the speed of the wave times the square of the electric field. So we can see that the incident, the irradiance is proportional to the square of the electric field. So our, our eyes or our detectors, we can measure something in proportion to the square of the electric field, whereas we cannot measure the amplitude of the electric field itself. So while we do have the reflection and transmission coefficients down here, we cannot measure them as they are there. All we can measure is the irradiance. So we need to square these in order to see what it is we're actually able to measure. So let's take the reflection coefficient. Let's define the reflection coefficient as the incident irradiance divided by the, the uh, sorry, the reflected irradiance divided by the incident irradiance. Excuse me there for my, uh, <laughs> I suppose my confusion. So we see, of course, because the speed and the uh, permeability are going to be the same in, uh, because it's being reflected and it's incident and it's on the same side of the medium, uh, they all cancel and so does the half. So all we're left with is actually the ratio of the squares of the electric field. So we get the, the reflected and the incident, take the ratio and square it. And what we'll find is you get your reflection coefficient is n1 minus n2 over n1 plus n2. And what we need to do then, of course, is to square it. So this is the reflection coefficient which everybody would be familiar with at normal incidence. Then to get the transmission coefficient, we do something similar. We take the, inc the incident irradiance and we take the transmission transmitted irradiance and we take their, we take their, uh, their quotient or their ratio. This time, of course, the half is going to cancel, but the permeabilities, or we'll say, sorry, epsilon and the speed won't won't actually change, or excuse me, won't cancel. So what we're left is as follows. Divided by e zero i to be squared. And the answer to this is four times n one n two divided by n1 plus n2 to be squared. This is the transmission coefficient. Now what's interesting is if you do the, the bit of algebra you realize that the transmission coefficient and the reflection coefficient they sum to 1. So for example if you're given the percentage of light which has been reflected you immediately know you immediately know how much has been transmitted. Alright so in general, let's say at a light glass interface, we lose about 4% uh, through reflection. So if, if you're designing some sort of an optical device, 
with lots of mirrors or lots of lots of glass that every single one of those mirrors you'll lose four percent of your light in reflecting uh, by re through re reflecting all right so that's all i've got to say about that thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends subscribe to my channel and you might also give me a comment in the box below